Speak clearly and at a slow pace. Um, very often in setting we're busy and we're rushing around and um, it can be very easy to sort of run away and, and speak really quickly but it's really important for these children to hear language spoken clearly and have time to respond. Left giraffe with a long neck. Well I've learnt to pause after speaking to a child. And a swinging monkey. So it gives them the chance to process what I've said. And a snappy crocodile. And it also gives them the chance to respond to what I've said, either verbally or non-verbally. We also try and encourage practitioners not to ask too many questions. We go up to children and we say, what are you doing? What are you playing with? Do you like doing that? What are you going to do next? They find questions very hard. So a top tip would be, make a comment instead of a question. Tell them something about what they're doing. For me, it would be very remiss if I didn't say anything about nursery rhymes because I think the power of nursery rhymes um, in, in teaching children language and having joy between two people, which is about communication, they are absolutely fantastic. The rhyme and the rhythm um, is absolutely fantastic for those building blocks for reading and writing later on in life. For me, when I was a mum, what I used to do was I'd repeat them and repeat them and repeat them, and then I would leave a gap at the end of it uh, for my child to fill in. Humpty Dumpty had sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. One tip I would suggest would be for practitioners to always make sure when they're talking to a child that they've got their full attention and actually got some eye contact so they're facing them. Make sure you address the child by name and make sure they're looking at you before you start speaking. It's very important to teach children not only nouns, so the names of things, but also to teach them action words, the verbs, because that's how they can put two words together and make a sentence. So you, you might see very early on, children will start to say things like baby drink. That's how they're putting the two words together. It's really important that in a setting that children are hearing adult models of language all the time. That's right, that's kiwi fruit. And that can happen by just having kids around a table, having a practitioner and having some different objects that the children can talk about. Anybody know what this is? Adult support will help children extend and expand their language. Avocado, it's an avocado. We can use non-verbal praise, and that's things like smiling, looking encouragingly at the child, clapping, giving them a thumbs up. That's all telling the child, yep, you're doing really well. It's also important to give specific praise. So you can say, Cinderella, you found her, good boy. Praise the child for exactly what it is that they have done that we're so happy about.